this video we will be discussing about the chemistry of amino acid uh, we will be dealing with the classification of uh, different amino acid so this is the first part of the video in which we will discuss about the structure of the amino acid and its classification various types of amino acid so first uh, about the basic structure of the amino acid so what is uh, an amino acid so amino acids are basically the building block of proteins so amino acid is a basic unit of protein so many amino acids they join together with the help of a peptide bond to form the protein so these are the building block of proteins so we will look at the basic structure of an amino acid amino acid basic structure So it has got a carbon atom here and attached to this carbon atom there is a carboxylic group this is a carboxylic acid and there is an amino group attached here and you have a hydrogen atom here so and the fourth valency is occupied by a variable group there is a variable side chain here that is R. So this much part that is common to all the amino acids. So that is the carboxylic acid. So this is the carboxylic acid. And there is an amino group here. So these carboxylic acid group, this amino group and hydrogen atom, all these are common to every amino acid. And the variable thing is this side chain. So this variable side chain determines a, each and every amino acid. So this is the variable side chain which is different in each and every amino acid. So based on this variable side chain, the amino acids are changing its name. So this is a common thing which is common to all amino acid that is amino group carboxylic acid group and the group which is differing in uh, amino acid is the variable side chain. So we know that most of the amino acids most of amino acids are alpha amino acid. So which are the non alpha amino acids non alpha amino acids are That is beta alanine, beta amino isobutyrate, and gamma amino isobutyrate. So, having learned the basic structure of the amino acid, we look into each uh, different types of amino acids. So we are changing the variable side chain and look at the different types of amino acids. So we will deal with the classification based on the side chain. So uh, first one is the aliphatic amino acid. We will discuss about the... So first one is the aliphatic amino acid. So aliphatic amino acid, uh, we can see simple amino acid and also branched in amino acid. So we will deal with the simple amino acid in a short while and first we will discuss about the branched chain amino acid. So I have a mnemonic here that is for the branched chain amino acid, you can remember the name using the mnemonic will that is V I N will. So in which V stands for valine, I stands for isoleucine and L stands for leucine. So you can remember the branch chain amino acid using this mnemonic will. That is V stands for valine and I stands for isoleucine and L stands for leucine. So which are the simple amino acid? You must remember the name of simple amino acid which is very important. So which are the two simple amino acid that is glycine and alanine glycine and alanine alanine okay 
So how to draw the structure of this simple amino acid? We will first draw the basic structure of the amino acid. So we have the alpha carbon here. So into which a carboxylic acid is attached and into this we have an amino group which is attached and a hydrogen atom. So this is the basic structure of uh, every amino acid having a carboxylic acid group, an amino group and hydrogen atom. So and to this variable group if you are adding hydrogen it becomes glycine. So this is glycine. So in case of glycine we have hydrogen atom in the place of a variable group here. So if you want to draw the structure of alanine you draw the same thing that is the basic structure having the carboxylic acid group, amino group and hydrogen atom. And to the variable part in case of alanine you have the methyl group here. So in, in the part of the variable region if you have the methyl group it becomes alanine. So what is the difference between the glycine and alanine? In glycine you have the hydrogen atom in the place of variable group. In alanine you have the methyl group in the place of the variable part. So that is the simple amino acid glycine and alanine. So next you have next one is the hydroxyl group containing amino acid. So hydroxyl group containing amino acids include the three important ones are serine, threonine and tyrosine. So we will discuss about the structure of tyrosine later. So first we will look into the structure of the serine which is a hydroxyl group containing amino acid. So first we will draw the basic structure of the amino acid containing an alpha carbon into which the, into which the carboxylic acid is attached in which the amino group is attached and you have a hydrogen atom here. The only different thing is the group which is attached in the variable part that is in case of threonine you have the CH2OH which is attached here. So this is the variable part in case of serine. It contains a hydroxyl group here so it is a hydroxyl containing amino acid. So which are the three hydroxyl containing amino acid? These are the serine, threonine and tyrosine. We will discuss about the structure of tyrosine later in this video. And you have the acidic amino acid which we are going to discuss now. So acidic amino acids, uh, these uh, are the aspartic acid and the glutamic acid. It is easy to remember because it is ending with the name acid. So this include aspartic acid and glutamic acid okay so uh, we'll deal with the structure of the aspartic acid and the glutamic acid first about the aspartic acid so for drawing the structure of this amino acid first we'll draw the basic structure which every amino acid is having that is an alpha carbon to which a carboxylic acid is attached and the amino group is attached and there is a hydrogen atom. Now the variable part comes. So in case of aspartic acid, so the keto, the keto uh, acid of aspartic acid is the oxaloacetic acid. So oxaloacetic acid is having how many carbon atoms? It has got four carbon atoms. So like that, uh, the aspartic acid is also having four carbon atoms. So this is the first carbon atom and this is the second carbon atom. So you should draw two more carbon atoms here. That is three and four. And at the fourth position you have another carboxylic acid group. So aspartic acid in addition to the carboxylic acid which is present in the basic structural part it has a carboxylic acid group in the variable part here so uh, and it is having four carbon atom also one two three four and the fourth position you are having the carboxylic acid group in addition to the carboxylic acid group in the basic structure so next one you have the glutamic acid here
which is the corresponding uh, keto group, uh, keto amino acid of the. So, which is the corresponding uh, keto group? We have the alpha keto glutarate. So, alpha keto glutarate is having 5 carbon, like this. The glutamic acid is also having 5 carbon. So, first uh, to draw the structure of glutamic acid, we will draw the basic structure. So, alpha carbon and the carboxylic acid is there. Then there is an amino group and a hydrogen atom is there. And uh, to this, the variable part is attached. So, we have said that the glutamic acid has got 5 carbon atom. 1, 2, and three more carbon atoms we are going to draw one two three and at the last position you have a carboxylic acid so glutamic acid is also having another carboxylic acid group attached to this structure that is attached to the variable part here so because of the presence of additional carboxylic acid here these two amino acids are acidic amino acids so the difference between these two amino acids is that aspartic acid has got in total 4 carbon atoms and the glutamic acid have 5 carbon atoms. So if these two acids are existing in ionized form, these are called aspartate and aspartate and glutamate. That is if these are existing in ionized form, these are called aspartate and glutamate. How to draw this uh, structure? Aspartate is like this. COH. H and H2 C COI so it is existing in ionized form similarly glutamate the structure is C COH H and H2 So, if these two acids are existing in ionized form, it is known as aspartate and glutamate respectively. And we have amides here. Next, we will look into the amides. So, these are the amino acids which are having an amide group in its structure. Amide group means these amino acids have a CONH2 group in its structure. So, which are the two amino acids having an amide group in its structure? This include asparagine and also glutamate. Asparagine and glutamate. So, in order to do the structure, it is very easy. Once you have studied the structure of aspartic acid and glutamic acid, it is very easy. Asparagine has got 4 carbon atom and glutamine has got 5 carbon atom in its structure. So, first we will draw the asparagine structure. So, first draw the basic structure of the amino acid, alpha carbon, carboxylic acid group, then there is an amino group, there is a hydrogen atom. Next, we are drawing the variable group. So, we have said that it has got how many carbon atom? That is 4 carbon atom. So, first is here, second is here, two more carbon atom, third one and fourth one you have a CONH2 group attached here. So, because of the presence of CONH2 group here, it is an amide. So, so it is an amino acid containing amide group. Next one is glutamine. Glutamine also contains a CONH2 group in its structure. So, we have to draw the structure similar to the glutamic acid. First, draw the basic structure having a carbon atom here, carboxylic acid here, amide group here. Uh, sorry, amino group here and a hydrogen atom. Next comes a variable part. So, glutamine consists of how many carbon atom? 5. This is the first one. The second one. So, this is the third one. This is the fourth one. So, the fifth carbon atom with its amide group here. CONH2. In place of fifth, you have the CONH2 group here. So, the difference between asparagine and glutamate is, glutamine is the number of carbon atom. Asparagine is having 4 carbon atom here and glutamine is having 5 carbon atom. So, this is the first part of the video of the classification of amino acid. We will deal with the further classification in the second part of this video. Thank you for watching this video.